Welcome! In this video I'll show you how to set up and use Tailwind CSS with Next.js. First I want to briefly mention what Tailwind is. I won't go in depth, I'll just mention the basic idea for those of you that are not familiar with the framework. Tailwind is a utility first CSS framework. It's packed with utility classes that can modify multiple CSS properties like background, width, height and many others. You use these utility classes directly in your markup and compose them to implement any design. Let's now see how to set up and use Tailwind with Next.js. The good news is that Tailwind integrates really well with Next.js. Here I have a sample Next.js application. It's currently running and it just outputs a single headline in just one view. The code is fairly simple. I have a page.js with that headline and a div tag wrapping it. And my layout imports a font from Google Fonts and only has an HTML and body element. My global CSS file is empty and I have nothing else besides the default fav icon from Next.js. So how do we integrate Tailwind in this application? To start, I'll go to the Next.js docs and I'll search for Tailwind. There's an excellent article for Tailwind CSS integration. We have to only execute a few simple steps. The first one being installing Tailwind and two dependencies. If I paste the npm install command, you'll see that we will install as dev dependencies Tailwind CSS as well as post CSS and auto prefixer. I'll run that and wait for the npm install to execute. All right, now that we have the three dependencies, the next step is to execute the Tailwind CSS init command. This will generate two config files, Tailwind CSS config and post CSS config. Tailwind, we need to configure a little bit more. Here we have the content and this array should contain the content files that Tailwind should watch for changes and utility classes. The rest are settings for the team and plugins. In order to use Tailwind with Next.js, we need to configure the content array in this config file. Thankfully, here in the Next.js documentation, we have some hints about how to configure it. If you're using an app folder in the root and you wanted to watch OJS, TypeScript, JSX, and DX files in it, you can use this string. In my case, I'm not using pages, components, or app folder. I'm using a source folder right here and my app folder is inside of it. This is a very common structure, but in this case, I'll copy this line and I'll paste it. Let's examine it again in depth. This is just a globe pattern. We go to source and catch all folders and files inside of app that are that contain the JS, TS, JSX, TSX, or MDX extensions. This should work in any case and with any file structure within source. I will save that config file. And at this point, we're actually ready to use Tailwind, except that we need to import the Tailwind base components and utilities at least in our CSS file. Thankfully, I have my global CSS file here that is empty and I can do that. You can learn more about this in the Tailwind docs. I will make a, an in-depth video or even a series about Tailwind CSS in the future, so stay tuned for that. Global CSS is already imported in the root layout, as it should, because it's the global CSS file. When using Tailwind, you don't need normalize or anything else because it normalizes all elements to very bare bones components that you can modify later. You'll see in a bit what will happen with my heading. Now I can save and rerun my project with npm run dev. And when I do that, you see that my headline is now normalized by Tailwind. And this is how I know that Tailwind is actually working and imported. And now I can freely use the Tailwind CSS classes inside of my Next.js application. For example, I can specify a background. I can specify padding like this. I can set the text to white as this background is dark. And I can also make the font semi-bold. As you can see, I can also make my text larger. All right. These classes, all of these utilities, as you can see, I remember, but you can see all of them organized in the Tailwind CSS documentation. And they are pretty well done so that you can remember them easily. 
here in the docs, you have categories of utility classes. For example, in layout, you have aspect ratio classes, columns, all of these are the class names and the CSS they correspond to. Here we have classes for pretty much everything you need. This, for example, is the colors page of all available colors in Tailwind CSS. Uh, when we go in depth in Tailwind, you'll see that you can also customize all of these settings like theming, colors, etc. All right, so um, one helpful thing is the Tailwind IntelliSense extension for VS Code which can provide you with some hints here. It's an official extension. Let me just find it in the extensions market. Here it is. Tailwind CSS IntelliSense. It's published by Tailwind Labs. If I install this, you see a couple of useful features here. First of all, next to my colors, I see a visualization of how they look. And if I start writing now my utility classes, I also get helpful hints for the available utilities from Tailwind, which is very useful if you still don't remember all of the utilities. And even if you do, sometimes it's very useful to have this. We set up Tailwind in an existing project. This is why we needed to install the dependencies, post CSS, auto prefixer and Tailwind CSS, and we needed to make the two config files. If however, you're setting up a new Next.js project, with create next app, like so. I'll go to my dev drive, and if I say create next app latest, which you usually do if you're setting up a new Next.js project. Here we also have in one of the prompts, after would you like to use TypeScript, TSLint, you have an option to just say, yes, I want to use Tailwind CSS because it's integrated in Next, and you conveniently have the option to just say yes here when bootstrapping a project. If you do so, I'll just wait for the project to bootstrap and I'll show you that everything is set up already. Okay, the project bootstrapped. Let me CD into the project I just made and look at the code. As you can see, Tailwind config is already configured. We even have some theme configurations here. We have our post CSS config. All of the dependencies are already here, including auto prefixer, post CSS and Tailwind. And also, if you look at the demo page Next.js provides, it's actually implemented with Tailwind utilities as well. So that's pretty cool. Very easy to get started. With this, I'll wrap today's video. You learned how to set up and use Tailwind CSS in new and existing Next.js projects. As you can see, the process is very streamlined as Tailwind integrates really well with Next. In the future, I will make videos diving deep into Tailwind CSS itself, probably even a whole series. If you want to stay up to date with upcoming videos, don't forget to subscribe. Take care.